Loans are something you'll hear about all the time, with good reason. In your adult life, you'll undoubtedly run into situations where you will want to use a loan. But how do they even work? Today, we will try to demystify this very important topic through a familiar game, Minecraft. So first, what even are loans? In our context, loans are some of money borrowed that is expected to be paid back with interest. So to demonstrate this, let's establish our two characters. We have Set here and Zero over here. Zero wants to go to his local trading hall and buy a full protection 4 diamond armor set. However, his emerald income from his job is nowhere near enough to get the armor. So Zero weighs his two options. He can either save for a few years and buy this protection 4 set, or he can get a loan to buy the set now and then pay it off for the next few years. Both options take around the same time, but in the loan scenario, he has the full set for the whole time. That's one big reason why loans are so useful. They allow people to essentially reverse the process of buying something. That way, they can use the item while they're paying it off. So Zero approaches Set and asks for around 3 stacks of emeralds. Enough to buy the diamond set. Set tells him that he needs to pay him back 3 stacks and a half of emeralds. Wait, what? Why does he have to pay him more back? Well, let's look at Set's options from his point of view. If Zero were to pay him 3 stacks back exactly, Set essentially just lost 3 stacks of emeralds for a few years before getting it back. Those are emeralds he could be using for something else for his own gain. So in this scenario, Set basically has no incentive to give Zero any emeralds unless he expects some sort of compensation. This compensation is known as interest, or the cost for Zero to borrow money. Borrowing money is not free. Now you may have noticed that Set never really gave Zero a time frame to give the money back. That's because he has an interest rate, or an interest that increases with the amount of time spent borrowing the money. The longer that Zero takes to pay Set the money back, the more it costs for Set since that is time that Set doesn't have the money. So he would like to be compensated proportionally with the time it takes Zero to pay it back. Okay. Now let's say that Set is a super rich guy and actually has multiple people he's lending money to. Mr. Zombie, Generic Villager, and Zero. He actually has a lot of history with these people, lending money to them many times before. Now historically, Zero has been one of his best customers and always pays off his debts in a timely manner. Generic Villager is not as bad, but not the best either. His village sometimes gets raided by pillagers and he has to take a little longer to pay his loans off. Now, Mr. Zombie is just terrible at paying his loans flat out. He often gambles his emeralds on Wither vs. Iron Golem fights and takes years just to pay off his debts. So let's say that all three of them ask to borrow two stacks of emeralds. Which client is Set most likely to loan his money to? Well, it's Zero. He is most likely to return his money and not be late with debt payments. He is much more reliable and trustworthy. This is the basic concept behind credit score. Now there are many many more layers and factors behind this, but in a basic version, they look at your history and see if you're trustworthy or not. In the real world, when you want to buy a car or a house, loaning companies will be much more likely to give you the money if you have a good history of credit. So it's crucial that you increase your credit score or keep it up. It's like building trust with Set so that next time, he'll be way more willing to lend you even more emeralds. So don't be like Mr. Zombie be more like zero. Anyways, that's the very very basics of loans. If you want to see more in this line of subject, let me know in the comments. Anyways, best of luck with your studies and bye bye.